Hello, everyone. Welcome to Let's Play Portraits with this uh, little buddy here. Um, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. I was supposed to be home hours ago. Feel that? I gotta click. It was a simple gig, but at many hours away in a small town I have never been. A few hours into my ride back, my truck started acting up. And I had to stop by the mechanic. I spent an arm and a leg, but it seemed to be fixed. And it wasn't until 9 at p.m. that they were done with six hours left to drive. I continued the drive home, but all at once it had hit me just how much I had been overworked lately. I was exhausted. I nearly swerved into oncoming traffic and realized I couldn't make it. There's only one hotel in this town and it was being renovated, so I had to get an Airbnb. There was only one available, $130 a night, with four fees and with a rating of 2.1 stars. Unbelievable, but it can't be worse than some other places I've stayed. I don't know, I've stayed in some pretty bad places. It was down a long, winding road in the woods. Eventually, the path narrowed so much that I couldn't take my truck any further. I followed the path another half mile until finally I see it. More a cabin than a house, really. I typed in the key code into the lockbox by the front door. After three tries, it opened. I grabbed the key, went inside the shithole. The door locked behind me. And locked the door behind me. I hope the door's not locking behind you. It's like... Oh. Oh my gosh, this looks awful. Is there a flashlight? Okay, down here is like paint door. What was that? What is happening with the audio? Dear guest, welcome to our humble abode. Thank you so much for choosing to stay with us. You have the full access to the kitchen, laundry, and anything in the fridge or pantry. Our casa es su casa. If anything is wrong, please feel free to call us at... Please contact us before you leave a review so we can earn that five stars. Simple house rules. No shoes inside. Please leave them at the door. Do not enter the door in the basement. Do not take any food with you. We do not want anything going bad in the fridge. The Davidsons. P.S. On the off chance that the power is out when you get there, sadly our power company sucks. There's a backup generator in the basement. If it is out of fuel, there should be plenty extra in the pantry. Why would you put the fuel in the pantry with the food? I feel like that's worrisome. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, I don't know what's going on with the, like, static. There's a grotesque and pungent aroma coming from the fridge. Beautiful. I feel like this game is, like, scuffed feeling. Like, the audio is weird, and I just feel like I can't move straight. Is this a vending machine? Oh. Well, there's the fuel container. I didn't even know I was in the pantry. Hi, Mom and Dad. I can actually interact with the painting. What's the deal with this portrait? Why would they put something up so freaky when they have guests here? That's a great question. I go into the... Oh my god, what is that? And also, what is... Oh, I can't even go into the freaking... Oh my gosh, the floorboard. can't even go into the living room area. Oh, that's just the perfect thing you want in your, uh, your bathroom. Looking at this makes me feel ill. Yeah, you're telling me. Don't need to use the bathroom. Somehow I feel like it would get dirtier after showering here. Yeah, I definitely feel that too. Gross, there's used towels here. Do the guests even clean up? The guests are still here. They're in the paintings. Look at this little guy peeping his head up. What's up, buddy? Oh. That's it. I can't keep looking. Oh, what is happening? I didn't even get to fucking... Am I supposed to, like... Alright, I'm gonna look at it. Something seems to be happening. This is a weird game. I don't know what's happening. 
What's up, buddies? How you doing? Look at this guy. Very, very nice. Very nice paintings. I'm exhausted. But I should probably try to get the power on first. You sure about that? I wouldn't mind trying to sleep with all these beautiful buddies looking at me. Especially this little guy. Okay, into the basement we go. What's down here? A butthole. No, I think it's a washer. Some kind of closet. Is this another bed? Oh my goodness, it's dark down here. Okay, got the... Jesus Christ, that's a loud fucking generator. I thought there was someone with a chainsaw coming up behind me. Amazing. Alright, so what do we do now that the power's on? Oh, I thought there was something behind that. Let's just go to bed with all these paintings that are awful right next to us. <clears throat> Can't sleep with those creepy paintings staring at me. I'll try to ignore them. But it's getting in my head. I just need to rest my face down. No, you can drown. You can suffocate. That. I almost said drown. You can drown that way. Suffocate that way. If you uh, sleep face down. Also, what was that? My stomach is suddenly killing me. Oh, he's missing. Sorry, this fucking bell ringing in my ears. I the painting's missing. Oh, good thing we still got this guy right here. This flashy eye bulbs. Anybody in the bathroom? Oh, I didn't even mention before. I think this game is supposed to be based on a creepypasta. So... What is that awful noise? Yeah, so... There's that, too. I don't think I mentioned it. I'm gonna eat something in the pantry. Some sugar bites. Potato. What is that sound coming from over here? Oh. Oh, no, that's different. I, or the same. I thought that was different. Alright, where do I get the food from? You guys got food for me somewhere in this house? Am I gonna be the food? The food in the basement. Surely. What am I supposed to do? I can't sleep, my stomach is killing me. What do I eat? Tell me what I eat. Do I eat this guy's eyeballs? I don't know. I don't know what we're eating, boys, but apparently it's not anything. Oh. Oh! Stomach problems. That makes sense. Okay. That's just shit right next to this painting. Love it when you watch me shit, don't you? You just fucking love that little. Sorry, hold on, hold on. You just love watching me shit, don't you? Love watching that plop sound in the toilet bowl. Okay, what's going on here? I can't do this with that damn portrait. Who puts these up in every room? I'm supposed to look away and then look back, and then look away and then look back. vision is getting driven towards it. He's so beautiful with his slender neck and... Oh, someone's opening the door! Look at her! Huh? What? What? How was there somebody in my room and then they were outside my room? Okay, it's not the little boy peeking his little head out. Pantry? 
Do I hear birds all of a sudden? Oh. Oh, okay, so they left. I see. What nice people. Alright, well, time to go back to sleep, I guess? I don't fucking know. Hey, look, this guy's back. Little gremlin, dude. I should close the door to be safe. Whoa. What door? Oh, there it is. I don't know, I think this guy coming out of the painting is going to be the biggest of your problems. Let's wait till morning. So far, interesting game. I like the I like the idea. They're still looking at me. You're damn right. I'm shit to sleep. Oh, is that sunlight already? Where's that coming from? It's my own blood in my eyeballs. They're all gone. Oh wait, this is a different room. Wait, no it's not. Those were windows. I have to get out of here now. Oh, so they were watching me, I see. Jesus, this fucking music is so goddamn loud. I apologize if it's really loud. I gotta, I gotta turn that down, it's too much. Better. Uh, hello? Who's breaking out of the painting? I didn't even get to see that guy. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't get a good look at him. He just fucking murdered me through the wall, pretty much. I think he was in the pantry. Okay. Well, I don't understand what, like, the... sounding footsteps were, but... Um... Other than that... That's cool. Yeah. Tyler AM, footsteps, running wood... I don't know if they intentionally made that to be creepy, but the footsteps made it creepy because it was like static or something. Yeah, it was cool. I actually really liked that. I thought that I, it, it scared me a little bit, even though it was, uh, I kind of knew what to expect. Anything creepy pasta related is always uncomfortable. Oh shit, you can actually read the original creepypasta. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, well, this was The Portraits. I hope you all enjoyed this game. I, I had fun playing this. It was definitely scary. Uh, it got me sweating a little bit under the pits. Other than that, um, check out my other indie games that I've played in the past, and I'll see you all in the next one.